Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how we can create this kind of videos using self fracture add-on that comes with Blender itself easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way if you like short 3D simulation videos you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado let's start today's video. So here you can see I'm using Blender 3.1.2 nice. So now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So first of all let's start this by adding our text. So further go to this add, select this text here. So here you can see we got this text in between. So press S and increase the scaling. Now R X 90 to rotate along X axis in 90 degrees. Okay. So now in order to edit or enter our text press tab on the keyboard and backspace to delete the text and now we can enter our text. So here I will be giving this crush text only. Now come to this object data properties. In geometry we can increase this extrusion value to get the thickness here. So I think this much is fine. And if you want to add some bevel come to this depth value here and let me add 0 0.01. Okay so this much is fine. and let me increase the resolution to 5 and if you want to change the font we can come to this font options here and click on this regular or bold anything you like so let me select this regular only click on the folder and we will get the fonts which are installed in our pc or laptop so from here i will select this calibri bold and open font so our text will be updated here so we got that font and if you want to increase the spacing scroll down and count to this character spacing so i will increase this to 1.1 so we got spacing here and alignment let it be from the center okay. so we got our text at the center so now currently this is not a mesh so if i press tab on the keyboard still we can edit our text so first we need to convert this into mesh so press tab once again to exit that one so now being selected our text come to this object convert and convert this into mesh so now if i press tab on the keyboard we are in edit mode now so if i change this to wireframe mode you can see that topology of this mesh is not proper so first let's fix that one so being selected this text come to this modifier options add modifier and add remesh modifier so come to this smooth options and this octree depth value increase this octree depth value and make sure to uncheck this remove disconnected option and i think seven is fine after that let me apply this modifier and let me move back to this solid report so here you can see we got our text here let me share smooth this one also so here the text is looking flat so let's make this uneven so for that let me select this text once again add modifiers click on this add modifier and add this displace modifier so now come to this texture options we need to add a texture here so come to this texture options and add a texture here and change the type to clouds so now we will get this cloud textures applied so now again come to this modifier options just click on this modifier properties and from here let me reduce the strength here so i think 0 0.01 or else 0 0.05 so now you can see we got some uneven surface here so this is fine and let me apply this modifier also okay nice so before going to break this text into pieces let's apply texture here so let me move on to this material viewport so come to this material properties or else let me move on to this shading tab here so let me bring it here so click on this plus icon to add this principal bsdf now select this principal bsdf and press ctrl plus t for node wrangler and by the way if you are not enable node wrangler go to this edit sorry come to this edit preferences come to this add-ons once again and look for node so by default this node wrangler will be unchecked enable it save those preferences and close so now from here we can select any of the material which will be applied onto this text so let me add a material so let me select that one So here I will be applying this rock material. So select that one and open image. So we are not able to see the texture. So we need to unwrap this one. So being selected this text, press tab on the keyboard for edit mode. Press A to select all the vertices or edges. Now press U on the keyboard and select this smart UV project. 
and hit ok so now if i press tab once again now you can see we got the material so now let's apply normal map so select this node here shift plus t to duplicate it and let me place this here so here we will get this diffuse map only because we have duplicated this image node so let's delete that one and add a normal map so select this and let me select a normal map so this is the normal map open image so now we need to connect this normal map to normal boom and to normal so let's add a node so shift a come to the search options and look for normal so select this normal map let me place it here so now connect this color to color and from this normal to normal of this principal psdf so now in color space change this to non color and from here we can increase the strength so if i increase the strength we can see we are finding the difference so in this way we can add this texture map so i think this is fine now let's move back to the layout so now you can see we got this material applied onto this outer surface but we need to add another material for the inner surface so let me add a new material just click on this plus icon and let me add a principal bsdf and let me get solid color i will apply a solid color here so let it be dark brown so this is fine so now we got this outer material and we got this inner material so let's move back to this solid viewport so first of all let me save the project control s and let me save this as crush only okay so now let's see how we can break this text into small pieces so for that we will be using cell fracture add-on that comes with blender itself we need to enable that one also so go to this edit preferences add-ons and look for cell so by default this will be unchecked enable it save those preferences and later we can close that so now being selected this text come to this object quick effects and select this cell fracture so here we got this dialog box so source limit indicates the number of pieces this is going to break so by default this is set to 100 so i will change this to 25 and this recursion if we increase this value we will get the small pieces if you want small pieces or chunks we can increase this value so i don't want that so i leave this to zero only so now let's come to this material portion here we have added this inner material right so if we want to get that material applied onto this text we need to increase this value so now just change this number to one here by clicking here okay so after that we want all the pieces to be collected into a collection so here if we rename this one we will get all the pieces collected into this collection so i will name this collection as pieces okay so after it simply click on this ok button now you can see we got this shattering happening so now we got our text shattered into small pieces and all the pieces are collected into this pieces collection so this is our main text okay so let me hide out our main text we don't need that further so now let's see how we can add rigid body physics onto this pieces so select any of the piece here so i'll select this piece come to this physics property and add rigid body so type let it be active okay and rest and all we like that only so now if i play this you can see that piece will be falling down so now let's add a colliding material in order to avoid the falling of this piece so press one front view so go to this add mesh select a plane here so make sure the plane is standing below to the text so let me place this here now press s and increase the scaling of this plane okay so now being selected this plane apply rigid body and change that to passive so this piece is active and this plane is passive so now if i play this you can see that piece is not falling down so now we need to copy this property to rest of the pieces so let me select the plane and hide it out now select the piece where we have added this rigid body property first later press b for box selection and select rest of the pieces here like this come to this object rigid body and select this copy from active so now if i play this you can see all the pieces will be falling down at a time so here i don't want this to be happening like this so here i want an object to get collided with this text and later i want the pieces to be falling down okay so for that select any of the piece now come to this physics property scroll down come to this dynamics 
and enable this deactivation here you can say just enable it expand this one and select this start deactivate so after that we need to copy this property to rest of the pieces so being selected this piece press b for box selection select all the pieces here come to this object rigid body copy from active so now if i play this you can see our pieces are not falling down okay so now let's add another active material that collides with this text so for that first let me add a cube press one let me press g z and let me place this just above to the grid and let me move it here now press tab on the keyboard for edit mode let me select this above four vertices and below two vertices here and let me move them here like this so that we'll get this so now let's select this above vertices and i think this much of slope is fine now again press tab to exit that edit mode and now let's add a uv sphere so go to this add mesh select this uv sphere and let me place this here right click shade smooth so i think i need to reduce the scaling press s on the keyboard and reduce the scaling and let me apply the scaling okay so now let's add rigid body properties onto the both of this uv sphere and this object so select this uv sphere rigid body let it be active and shape let's change this to sphere now select this object here again add rigid body but type change this to passive so now if i play this you can see the sphere will be rolling down and hitting the text but here observe this last alphabet before this alphabet hits this alphabet it falls down so here you can see before hitting this previous alphabets all the alphabets are falling down simultaneously so now let's calculate the mass of each piece here because if i select this piece here we can see the mass is set to 1 kg and if i select another piece which is way smaller than this piece the mass is equal to this piece so we need to have different masses in order to act or behave properly while breaking the objects so being selected a small piece here press b once again select all the pieces now come to this object rigid body and here we got this option called calculate mass just click on that so from here we will get the preset so i will select this brick pressed one so now if i select this big piece the mass is 367 kg and if i select this small piece it is 47.5 kg it's okay so anyhow let's add some weight onto this uv sphere so select this uv sphere come to this physics property and let me increase this weight to 100 kg okay so now if i play this fine better than the previous one so here i don't want all these pieces to be falling down i want some of the pieces to be holding to the text so let's see how we can do that so in order to do that let's select any of the piece here so i will select this below piece now press b and select all the pieces here now come to this object rigid body just click on this connect option so here we got this constraints so let me select this first constraint here so enable this breakable option and increase this threshold value so here the pieces have got more weight so we need to increase this threshold value so i will increase this threshold value to i think 75 would be fine and after that being selected this constraint hold shift key and select this last constraint to select all the constraints here so now we need to apply the same property which we have applied onto this first constraint so right click copy to selected so first beyond this text right click copy to selected so now come to this threshold right click copy to selected so now each and every constraint will have that property so now if i play this let's see how this behave so now we can see we got some pieces holding onto the text like that only so now let's reduce this threshold value a bit so again let me select this first constraint to 65 
and now let's copy this value to the rest of the constraints so scroll down to the last constraint here hold shift key and select this last constraint now right click on this value and copy to select it so now let's see how the result will be okay nice so we got only few pieces falling down and the rest of the text is holding like that only so I think this is fine or else still we can get the better result by increasing this mass value. So select this UV sphere and let me increase the mass to 750 and let's see this once again. So if I play this once again, okay. so we got some more pieces from the text here. So I think this is fine. First of all, let's reduce or let's increase the friction of the plane. So if I select the plane here and come to this surface response, let's increase the friction value. And let me again increase this mass value to 1000 kg and let's see the result once again, how it looks. So now we can see we got this kind of look here okay so you can make changes to the value of this mass or else you can change the value of this constraints threshold to get different results okay so for this tutorial i think this is fine and if you want to add any other objects in the place of text we can follow the same procedure in order to break that object also so in this way we can break any objects or text in blender usually using cell fracture add-on so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye